Uh, Sir Humphrey, the Prime Minister wonders if you could join him in five minutes. Yes, yeah, certainly, Bernard. Uh, Bernard? Yes? Any news yet about the governorship of the Bank of England? Well, the Prime Minister is planning to appoint Alexander Jameson, Mr. Clean. So that's one bit of good news. It's appalling news. <laughs> oh, are you going to try and change the Prime Minister's mind? No. I'm going to change the Prime Minister's mind. <laughs> well, he seems very keen on him. I know, so that'll be my starting point. When you wish to suggest that somebody is perhaps not the ideal choice... You rubbish them? The first stage is to express absolute support. Why? Because you don't want to go on record as saying somebody's no good. You must be seen to be their friend. After all, it is necessary to get behind someone before you can stab them in the back. <laughs> but uh, Alexander Jameson is good. He's extremely honest and efficient. Excellent. So that's the second stage. You list all his praiseworthy qualities, especially those that make him unsuitable for the job. And then you praise them to the point where they become a vice. That's the third stage. Or, better still, you oversimplify his views by labelling them, as you just did. You mean Mr. Clean? Yes. But I think we can do better than that. Do sit down, Bernard. <laughs> now, isn't he a churchgoer? Oh, yes, I believe he was once a lay preacher a long time ago. Splendid news. We can certainly use that against him. <laughs> what a charming man. Hasn't an enemy in the world. But is he really up to dealing with some of those rogues in the city? Well, that won't wash. Jameson's pretty tough. Then we'll say he's too tough. That's the fourth stage. You name all his bad points by defending and excusing them. You know... Oh, it probably doesn't matter that he was a conscientious objector. I'm sure that <laughs> nobody's really questioned his patriotism. <laughs> or I, I think the criticisms of him for bankrupting his last company weren't entirely fair. <laughs> well, that would certainly do it. Well, if it doesn't, you can always hint at a hidden scandal. If he's not married, hint at homosexuality. <laughs> if he is married, adultery. <laughs> With a lady who is beyond reproach, one of the royals, for instance. <laughs> or a television newsreader. Well, uh, what if he's obviously happily married? Well, then say he's extremely puritanical, or he drinks, or he's having psychiatric treatment. Really, Bernard, the possibilities are endless. Listen and learn. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sir Humphrey, 